today we're going to be taking a look at the Lexus RXL, so stay tuned for this video. So now we're inside the Lexus RX and we're greeted with a nice well pointed cabin. This particular car is finished in kind of like a chocolate and cream two tone interior. So we've got like a, this has got a brown dash, brown steering wheel, brown plastic on the door with the cream inserts. And the seats are pretty special. It's got cream inserts inside and then brown on the outside. I quite like the fact that Lexus have also extended brown to the carpets as well as the floor mats. So if I go ahead and start the car up, foot in the brake and push power, the seat moves forward and the steering wheel comes a little bit forward depending on your memory set when you're sleeping on the right hand side here. The central infotainment screen is controlled by this mouse pad, so you give you your radio station you click like so, if you push menu down here and you can slide across what you want for your infotainment, media, sat nav, etc. And I also quite like this little screen the Lexus has for their cars, or the hybrids anyway. We've got nice clean cut gauges that you've seen in other Lexus models. The central bit is an LCD display so you can swipe through things like your miles to the gallon, tyre pressure, etc. If you move to the right it gives you your sat nav, radio and your departure warning. I quite like leaving it on with the battery and the engine just to show you what's getting charged, what's getting used. Nice clear fuel gauge on the right and on your left your power eco and charge mode, which typical Lexus fashion, if you switch to power uh, from normal to sport, you get a tachometer, but using a CBT it's a simulated tachometer. And I also like these analog clocks that Lexus do, it's quite a classy touch. We've got Dolby Digital Sound, this particular car is not fin finished with the Mark Levinson, so that's an optional upgrade, however I would recommend that, as I think it's quite a nice feature. This car is fi finished with the wireless charging, however, so just down here below the climate controls, you can put your phone, if it's got the wireless, la oh, if it's got the wireless charging ability, it'll charge up nicely there. And as you can, you've got a CD player, climate control is nice and easy to use, you can even control the rear one if you wish. This car does have free zone climate controls for the third row as well. And also quite the fact if you look at the trim of this car, it's got little lines through it, which is a little bit different. Quite nice. We've got the Lexus bottles, and if you lift this up and push this little button here, it says push, this raises and lowers. So if you've got a big drink or a small drink, depending on what you want, you can have it. As I mentioned, we've got a CVT gearbox, all the way down for drive, and if you move forward to reverse, you get the reversing camera popping up and you can change if you want trajectory lines or what just by the touch of a button. This RX it isn't touch screen so it's, that's why we bit further away so everything has to be through the mouse pad but it does have a little enter button so when you select onto whatever you want you can just push enter and there we go it pops up. It's quickly touched on we've got the drive modes, left for eco, push down for normal, right for sport. We've got an EV mode, so that means you can drive up to about 28 or 30 miles per hour roughly uh, for about a mile on electric battery only, which is quite good as well if you're just wanting to maybe creep out the driveway or if you're in stop and go traffic. It will automatically switch between modes depending uh, how much battery power you have and you've got a traction control mode if you're stuck in some snow and you need some traction. And under here We've got a nice big bin lined with the fuzzy stuff and we've got some two USB ports and auxiliary cable along with a typical charging outlet that used to be called a cigarette lighter and even got an area for your pen which is a nice touch for Lexus. One thing about Lexus is they hide their glove boxes quite well so you push this little button there and it's very large and lined with the fuzzy stuff. Oh, as you can see all that's nice rather wet or kind of plastic material. And you've got a nice blend of materials there and I quite like the fact Stitching across. Up above we've got touch sensitive lighting. It's pretty cool. And a little bit of storage there for your uh, head, head. A little bit of storage here for your sunglasses. One thing Lexus do really well is the headlining, and this car is no exception. If you have a feel of it, it's got a nice soft microfiber, and obviously you can tell the quality of a car of some of the things that it doesn't uh, skimp out on and it lets it be a premium brand 
it's got a nice soft headliner. This particular car is finished in kind of a beige colour, so it's very light and lights up the whole cabin. It keeps it nice and light and airy. You can get an optional sunroof, which I'd maybe recommend on a seven seat uh, crossover like this. So on the left hand side here, we've got your light stock all the way up for main beam down for auto. There's also your indicators. And on the right hand side there, you've got your washer uh, so wipe up for a quick wipe of the wipers. Down ones for auto, which I typically would leave it and then you can adjust the sensitivity there. And all the way down if you were in a heavy storm and you wanted it constantly going. Well, we're here, we may as well touch on one of the main systems and that is the heads up display. I think this is quite a great system in this car. It's really easy to use and I've seen it before in a previous car I've looked at with Flexus. So it shows you things like your compass or your directions if you put in your sat nav, your equal power displays at the bottom there. Those little lines show you if you're on the when you're on the road they'll light up solid white and that's really in departure warning. And on the left there's your speed. The RX is loaded with comfort features such as automatic heated and cooled seats, so just leave that in auto and the car will work out for you. But if you want, you can put that onto heated and override that, or equally if you're feeling warm, override that and put it onto cold. And also has a heated steering wheel, which is quite nice and it heats up the side parts of the steering wheel, which is always nice to touch. We've got electric mothers, doors and windows on the right hand side. And this little bit here is lined with carpet, so you can Fingers don't get scratched, and you can keep maybe your keys or a phone in there if you wanted. And the door bins themselves come towards you, just like my Lexus IS, and you can put in a bottle or whatever maps, whatever goodies and things you want in there, snacks. And as you expect, nice high quality trim and plastic all throughout the cabin. And on the right hand side, there you control, you push this little button, and if you hit that to full beam and then push auto, that will set. So when you're driving around, It'll dip and control the LED lights. It's pretty impressive. I've tried it on an Alexis model, and when you're on the country back roads, it really does illuminate the roads. And for the oncoming driver, it does take that away uh, from the oncoming driver. So they're not getting blinded. Also, control your heads up display, open the boot if you want. And here's a little bit of secret storage if you want to keep maybe your card, if you've got a garage key or something like that. It's not quite deep enough for your phone or anything like that, but you can definitely keep a couple of hidey holes in there and not nobody will notice it. And as you can see from the driver's seat, we've got plenty of <laughs> room behind us and being the long wheelbase we do have the seven seats, so we've got three in the middle and two in the back, which I'll touch on in a second. So if we jump in the back, as you can see, we've got a little armrest there, so if you did want for two, so this is designed to be a seven seater. So there's a little bar you can pull under there to slide the rear seats back and forward, so if you did want to have it as a five seater with plenty of boot space. These seats do decline in almost a multitude of ways, so you've got plenty of knee and leg room, just like a normal RX. But if you wanted to sacrifice a little bit of knee room, you can slide that forward. So for reference, I've got plenty of headroom and 5 foot 11. Knee room isn't too bad either, being a mid-size crossover. And as I mentioned, you can slide this forward and back, depending on how much knee or leg room you're wanting. If you are wanting to use the rear, you'd need to slide that back. Uh, the back the middle seat forward a little bit just to kind of compromise the middle bit just to give enough people for the back but we'll show you how the back seats work well we're in the rear same high quality materials as you get in the front of the cabin you get in the rear nice blend of your plastics your metals and your leather so to simply jump into the back you pull this forward and slide the feet seat forward and you can jump in it's a little bit of a tight opening So that's me in the third row of the Lexus RX. As you can see, it's pretty tight uh, here. It's really designed for kids, but it's quite nice to have the versatility of the third row seats as you can use it for simple things such as extra storage if you needed it, or if you're maybe carrying young kids often or you could just want to give people a quick lift. Because if I show you, if I pull the seat all the way back, It kind of is a bit tight, you're kind of squashed up, uh, so you can't really go long distances like this. However, Lexus have thought of the rear passengers in a way as they get their own climate vents and control. If you did want to increase and decrease the temperature, you can at a touch of a button. You have it as auto, or you can do your fan speed yourself, which is a nice feature to include. Uh, so if you do have kids here, or somebody travelling for a while, 
they've got a little bit of adjustability for their own comfort. We're, while we're in the back, uh, we've also got two cup holders there, so even if you do a drive through with your five kids, uh, or five uh, children or adults, they can all get um, a cup holder at least to cool their drinks, and a little bit of storage there, so maybe have your french fries there and your Coca-Cola up front. Or being in Scotland, probably your Iron Brew. And the kids in the back will have a little bit of window there so they don't get too much travel stick and you've got a nice view of the front. So pull the seat back. That's kind of an example of the legroom you've got left in the third row. These headrests do pop up with a nice soft ease, glide, and then there's your seat belt there. Tailored back and then Lexus have got a little hook there. They're going to keep them nice and out of the way. Material quality isn't as high as the second row, but this is kind of the boot area, so you'd expect that to be a little bit of lower quality. The headlining is all nice and soft, and in fact, as I said, you get the air vents, and it is all carpeted and soft material there where your elbows would rest. So in the third row there, Lexus have got wee clips where you can put your seatbelt to keep it out of the way to see if you get entangled, so when you're jumping out the area, you don't trip over anything. So at a touch of a button you can raise and lower the front row of seats. With the front row up, you've still got a decent amount of boot space there. And this particular car is fitted with the Lexus rubber mat, so as you can see it's got the little daytime run lights I've seen in other Lexus models. And this means it protects the boot, and this particular car is fitted with the brown interior. At a touch of a button you can close the boot. So thanks very much for watching the Lexus RX 450H L video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 